Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove limitations on your PayPal account. So let's begin. So here we are in paypal.com and we are currently logged in right here. And as you can see from just below my PayPal balance, I have a notice right here that future payments might be put on hold for up to 21 days. So there is a limitation to how much I can receive in my PayPal account. I think this is within a month. So let's click here to know about it more. Know your options. Let's click here. So if you're receiving this type of error or maybe limitation in your account, then this would be really helpful for you. And as you can see, my sales for June is only around $300. I think this is equivalent to $200 or $300, I think. And then this is my limit right here. And as you can see, I am nearing to, to achieve it. So from here, we can actually, we have an option right here that we can increase the limit of our balance right here that we can receive for a month. So we have that button right here, but I am already finished doing that. You ha you'll have this button right here to request an increase in your limitation. So you just have to pick uh, your category in which in which amount you would like to increase your balance or your limitation in your balance right here and after that you will have this notice right here after you have chosen it says we're reviewing your increase request and we'll email you within three business days so that's just it when you have this right here and my paypal is already verified in this one so i still have a limitation but no worries you can still just increase it by requesting an increase in your balance right here to paypal and they would get back to you in three days but if your account is really new you didn't have any transactions yet or maybe you're having your first five or three transactions then what i recommend you to do is make sure that your account is verified first so to do that you want to go here in wallet go here in your wallet section and from here, you want to link a bank account right here or link a card right here. So you want to make sure that this is, uh, you have something linked here. But as you can see, in my case, it, that I don't have one because I did it in a different method to get, to get my account verified. So this is not the only way. If you don't want to link your bank or your card or if you don't have it, then what I suggest is going here into the gear icon or settings icon right here. And from here, you want to go back, go scroll all the way down. And from here, you want to enter your ID right here. So in my case, it's national ID or driver's license. So I have to submit my document in either of these. And in this way, I will be able to let PayPal verify my identity and put it in this account. So once I have sent this, then PayPal would be able to verify my identity and would verify my account. And of course, once it has been done, the first five transactions that I will have in this account after I'm verified is they will be put on hold for up to 21 days, but it won't last 21 days. In my case, I just got five days of holding my funds. And after that, PayPal had let, let me have access to all of it. It's just for the first five transactions, just take note, it's not for all transactions, okay? Once you have your PayPal verified. And that's basically it on how you can remove limitations on your PayPal account. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so that you won't miss our future updates. Thank you for watching.